Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is flee. And you're seeing a little Zen Tangle inspired art that I did. I'm on vacation or holiday, depending on where you live. And I am at Flaming Gorge Reservoir, and there are these thistles that are here. And I'll post a picture of the thistles. And this was an a art and it inspired by the thistle plant. And so, and I went off and forgot some of my um, pens. That's what happens when you go on holiday and you try to think of everything you need. And so I'm going to use a larger pen to get this one out of the way. I am going to use a Micron 05 today, which is a lot bigger than what I normally use. And I'm just going to draw directly on, I didn't bring any of my Zentangle tiles, so I really came ill-prepared today to um, do a tutorial, but I decided I just had to do one. So this is Flea by Shanza. I don't have a last name. S-H-A-Z-I-A. Shaza. And so we're just going to start with flea. And we start with a, I call it a kind of a figure eight, droopy little figure eight. And they, because they, those are going to produce the petals. And then we're going to make another petal down here. And another petal there. And I'm probably going to put another petal up here just because I didn't leave a lot of room below. And I like an odd number of petals. Um, sometimes I'll get even numbers. And I'm just looking at my in Zentangle inspired drawing of the um, flea. And there's variations. And then we're going to draw. A oval on the top, or kind of a rounded, maybe teardrop. It can be as round as you want. Some of mine that I did were round. On the thistle plant that I drew, they the thistle balls are pretty round. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cross hatch this little ball, which means I am going to just. Put lines through it going one direction. And then I'm going to rotate this because it's a bit little easier for me. Then lines going opposite direction. And then a third set of lines going diagonal. Now on flea, this is not how the original one is. But I wanted it done this way for my little um, thistle plant. I just thought it looked more like the thistle plant. And basically, you you get a more kind of spiky look this way. And then I'm going to just draw off the tips of my petals and fill them in. With the 05, it fills in much faster. I've drawn a lot larger um, design than I normally would have drawn because I'm using the 05. And that tip is very thick. We just take off the ends of these and fill them in. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to draw down with a little line and give a little dot. Now, I, I, I colored mine in. I'm going to bring them back over and you're going to see. You can see that I've colored mine in with a little yellow and then some little extra things. We can put a stem on here. So we have our our little flower 
and that gives us a stem. You can also add a little ice column fescues. That works. And another thing you can do instead of doing cross hatching in, so I'm going to just move mine over a little bit and I'm going to draw another one. We're going to do our lazy figure eight. And you can see I just drew um, some petals. And now we're going to, this time I'm going to put around circle on top and I'm going to fill this in with what um, I would call um, Bronx cheer and it's if you've ever made a mistake in a tangle and you need to fill things in this works and they are I'm just going to just do little round circles, and I don't want them completely filled in, so I make a circle, and then I just spiral in, and I leave a little, you can see a little white space in that. It's going to form maybe a raspberry type tangle. And you can see I'm going outside the lines, too. I really don't want that line to show up. I'm covering up everything. And there we have filled it in with those little Bronx cheers. And that color's in really nice. So that's another way that you can fill that in. And again, I'm going to take off those tips. And fill them in. And this is flea. It is a fun tangle. And when I had introduced it into class last week, but I didn't have time to really do the step outs for them, so they're like this because I'm on holiday and will not be able to... Um, I'm not teaching at the library this week. So we will be able to... They can go in and watch this video, class members. And... Um, do flea and maybe make some fun thistle. When I go to edit this, I will add some thistle pictures of the thistle. I don't know. That's just what I call it. I don't know the the real name of the plant. We're going to put a stem on here just because we can. And there you have flea. Fun, fanciful um, tangle. Leave a comment below. I love comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And if you feel inclined to support this channel, please go to my channel and click on the support button. It's always greatly appreciated. I do enjoy doing these videos, and um, oh, I almost forgot one thing. We didn't do any shading, and I can't not believe I forgot to do shading. We're going to... I colored mine in. I guess that's why, but um, let me put a few... I do a little of these dots. Here at the bottom, I like that. I'm going to bring back over my picture again so you can see that that's why I forgot about shading. I just colored it. This is colored with colored pencils, Prisma colored pencils, and it's blended with um, low, order paint low odor paint thinner. This is what I've blended it with. And I use a um, tortellini to just blend it out. So... That's how this one's done. So that's why there's no shading today. Experiment. Try a little color. These plants up here are a beautiful purple blossom with a sage green leaf, and they're just gorgeous. Again, thanks for watching, and see you.
see you next time.